Let's talk about repentance. Repentance is absolutely foundational to Christianity. Yet, if you ask most Christians what repentance is or what repentance means, I think the vast majority of them wouldn't know or would get it wrong. And I believe this is because we've been presented two ideas about repentance, which really aren't accurate. The first comes from a religious mindset. And the second is actually the result of repentance, not what repentance actually is. And to really understand the gift of repentance and even more to unlock the kingdom power of repentance, it's very important that we understand what it is. And I think maybe the best way to get us there is to start with what repentance is not. You know, we've often been presented the idea that repentance is this idea of, of, you know, hang your head in guilt and shame, you low down filthy sinner. Or repentance is feeling really, really bad about what you've done that has sent Jesus to the cross. Now, we want conviction. We want awareness of our sins. We want awareness of the cost of our sins. We want awareness of the price it costs Jesus. But we want that for a sense of reverence, awe, appreciation, and a revelation of how much he loves us. We want conviction, but we don't want guilt, shame, and condemnation. Our God is not a God of guilt, shame, and condemnation. Holy Spirit brings conviction. He brings awareness, and, and he brings that awareness so we'll say no to how we've lived, and we'll say yes to Christ Jesus. But Repentance is not about feeling guilty and ashamed about what you've done. Repentance also, one of the other things that we've been presented about repentance is it's the turning away from sin. And that's actually not right. Now, there will always be turning away from sin when there's true repentance. But turning away from sin is the result of repentance. It's not what repentance actually is. What repentance actually is, what causes us to turn from sin because of repentance, repentance is changing our minds, changing how we look at things, changing how we think about things. It's right there in the word repent, re, like revolution, turn around or turn or change. And pent, I believe, is the, the, the Latin root word is the same that we get the Spanish verb pensir or to think from. So it means to change how you think or to change your mind or renewing of the mind like the Apostle Paul talks about in Romans 12. That's the real power of repentance. That's the real gift of repentance, that we change our mind. We change how we think about things. So of course, when there's real repentance and we change how we look at things, think about things, approach things, of course, we'll turn away from sin because now all of a sudden we've changed our mind. We've changed how we looked at it and thought about that act or that deed or that rebellion or that selfishness or that carnality. It might bring a moment of, ooh, but it'll bring a lifetime time of, uh, right? That's why Jesus came and his first message was repent for the kingdom of heaven was at hand or the kingdom of heaven is at hand. He wasn't saying, hang your head in guilt and shame, you filthy, disgusting sinner. He was saying, no, 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 change the way you think about everything because there's a better way that I'm bringing you into. Out of my love for you, I want to set you free from the bondages of sin and death. I'm not going to make you do this. I want you to change how you think about things so you will grab hold of me and allow me to lead you in to a better way, a new way of looking at things, thinking about things, living the kingdom way. That's the real power of repentance. And we all experience it. Every single believer experiences it. Use me as an example. The very first thing that the power of repentance unlocked for me was I changed how I thought about Jesus. For almost four decades, I dismissed Jesus and Christianity. I mocked Christianity. I mocked the church. I mocked Jesus. I dismissed him as a fairy tale, a con, a scam, you know, a lie. And then I had my encounter with him. The sovereign encounter outside the cabin in my woods where he manifested his presence and declared to me, I refuse not to love you. That started me changing how I thought about everything, but certainly how I thought about him. I went from thinking about Jesus as a myth, a fairy tale, a con, a scam, to knowing that he was my Lord and Savior, to knowing he was the one true God, the one and only way to the Father. And I wanted him and I said yes to him because I changed 
how I thought about him. Now, obviously, that was God sovereignly manifesting, Holy Spirit, you know, being there and helping me through the gift of repentance, embrace the power of repentance. The most powerful decision I've ever made was to change how I thought about Jesus and say yes to him as my Lord and Savior. Every single Christian has that moment, whether we're fully conscious of it or not. We change how we think. Culture tells us Jesus is a lie, a myth, a fairy tale, a con, right? Culture mocks Jesus. Culture mocks Christianity. Something profound and powerful happens that we change how we think about things, that we don't think about it the worldly way or the way culture declares it now, but we think about it from the real and the truth. That's the power of repentance. That's the renewing of the mind, the changing how we think. And when we change how we think about Jesus, the kindness of God leads a man to repentance. Holy Spirit brings that conviction, that awareness. So we say yes to Jesus Christ because we change how we think. When we do, we come into a saving relationship with him and then from that walking with him talking with him this restored relationship with our heavenly father and all of his kingdom here on earth he mentors us disciples us rabbis us even more intimately and profoundly than he did the 12 or 11 original disciples the 11 and 12 original disciples in the gospels because holy spirit comes and lives inside of us and he teaches us he mentors us he gives us and he empowers us to change how we think about everything, to change into thinking about things from a kingdom mindset as opposed to a worldly one, to think about things from the victory that we have in Christ, the victory of the finished work of the cross, the victory of the empty tomb, the victory of sin, hell and death all being defeated, the victory mindset of what our true portion is in Christ. The power of repentance unlocks all that so we change how we think about everything. Repent! for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Change how you think about everything, especially in the midst of tests and trials and challenges. Change how you think. Don't accept them as your portion. Know the victory. Know the fullness. Know the Zoe life, the abundant blessing. Every spiritual blessing in heavenly places has been given unto you. Everything pertaining to life and godliness is yours in Christ Jesus. Learn how to think about things from that perspective so things in your life change. The enemy wants us thinking about things based on our temporary circumstances, our tests, our trials, our challenges. God wants us to repent. He wants us to change how we think about anything and everything for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. He wants to help us think about everything from a victory mindset, a kingdom mindset, an eternal mindset. Not just so one day in the by and by we come into the brownie points of that in heaven, but so that we can access heaven here on earth. That is the power of repentance. Now, I don't have time today to go into a really deep study on that, but I do want you to know there's much more to this. And in my book, Realms of Power, I have an entire chapter on the power of repentance. And not just a chapter that'll open your eyes to the fullness of the power of repentance, but there's also steps in, in that chapter of how you can step out into and unlock this realm of power, the power of repentance in your life. And I want to give you a gift because I want you moving in the power of repentance. I want to give you a code, repent30. If you use that code and you go to our online store, you and I'll give you a link to that. Um, our store is at patriciakingministries.com. Click the store link and, and store link, sorry, the store link and uh, um, enter in realms of power, that'll come up. And then during checkout, use the code REPENT30. This won't work at Amazon. It'll only work at our store. REPENT30, and you get 30% off the book Realms of Power. You'll get a big savings on it because I want you moving in the power of repentance, but also all of the other 12 realms of power that we unlock and make it simple with kingdom keys for you to step into those realms. So thank you for joining me today on this beginning to unlock this realm of the power of repentance, the power of the renewing of the mind, the power of changing the way we look at and think about everything for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Ready for more? Go to roberthodgkin.com for more teachings, more resources, and more information about Robert Hodgkin Ministries and men on the front lines.